beautiful sunny Atlanta, Georgia, along with vocals paired by me live and guitar paired by me live. We're going to start this set off with Dr. Smooth.
Hey everybody, you're tuned in to the EDM Sound System right here on WRK Atlanta, your home for quality and diverse music. And that was Garden Sound playing live. One of the, probably the first uh, live show we've had on here. It's been pretty awesome. Thanks so much, man. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yes. Uh, so how, uh, how did you uh, get to um, making that kind of music? Oh, man. Um, so... I guess back when I was, let's say 16, let's just do even numbers here. So 16, um, I had this one artist that I heard on NPR's show. Um, it was, um, You're Hearing Echoes with John D. Libretto. That guy, you ever heard of him? I haven't. <laughs> yeah, anyway, all right, so he has, there's this show on NPR called Echoes. And um, Blue Tech, uh, Evan Bartholomew, cool, uh, classically trained pianist. Um, he had this really crazy down-tempo kind of ambient music. And I remember hearing that for the first time, and it was the first, like, electronic music that I was like, oh, oh, that's awesome. So so I was like, I got to make that. <laughs> so I started messing around with Fruity Loops. Yeah, that's that's really awesome. Um, so I, I guess, um, what, do you even, what do you even call that? What I just played? Yeah. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's, it's electronic. I, I, I call it... What I've heard people call it is uh, jamtronica, so it's you know it's electronic for sure, right? But there's the aspect of me jamming with my guitar and with the songs, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not electronica, it's it's jamtronica, right? That's yeah, my, that's my cool phrase I've been calling it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah, so that was um, that was all done live with uh, Ableton, um, yep. and uh, what what else was that? The uh, your board. Yeah, so I've, I've got, uh, let's see if I can describe this for people who are listening. I've got an APC-40, which is a piece of hardware that was made, um, I think, 2008, maybe 2009. And uh, it, it's it's great. It's got a lot of uh, knobs and sliders. It's basically a MIDI controller. And that lets me control all the different parameters inside of Ableton, which is the program that I use to play my live sets. And um, a lot of people cringe when they hear um, live set and then Ableton because they go, oh, that's not live. But no, indeed, I am playing... Um, my guitar and singing along um, to the tracks and the tracks themselves have been broken down into small sections which allow me to loop certain parts of it and all the sounds you heard were all created by me using microphones and interfaces back at my home studio so none of that was um, you know coming straight out of a, a synthesizer without some sort of tweaking or some sort of live recording going on so every noise was created by me at some point yeah I definitely can confirm that was live uh, it was really excellent <laughs> Uh, it was uh, seemed to be pretty popular. We got um, got a few callers in saying how much they liked it. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so. everybody. Thanks for listening. <laughs> yeah, and uh, for those listening, uh, we we always uh, record these shows and we post them on Mixcloud. You can, uh, f so you can find this recording, mixcloud.com slash EDM underscore sound underscore system. So definitely check it out and uh, share with your friends. Um, so... Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, no worries. Yeah, so um, the, another thing is uh, you've been doing a uh, song a day uh, challenge. Tell us about that. Oh, right. Yeah, let's please. Um, so I uh, got this crazy idea in my head in August. Um, actually, I started the project a little bit earlier than that um, just to try to make sure I could do it because what I do is I write a song every single day and I upload it to YouTube. Um, which is just uh, Gardner W. Beeson. That's my name on YouTube. Um, go look me up. I literally write, compose, record, mix, edit, master an entire song in a day, every day. And today was my 183rd episode, which officially puts me right past the halfway mark. So I'm doing this for an entire year. I started on August 20th, and uh, today was literally my one video past the halfway mark. So... This is a this is a cause for celebration, I think. Wow! Yeah, definitely. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that was uh, that was really incredible. Um, so yeah, you. Uh, what what else? Um, what what are your influences? Oh shoot! So definitely Blue Tech. I, like I said, that's mm -hmm. that's the sound that sort of started the whole the whole thing. Um, I listen to a fair bit of classical music in my free time. Um, so just a couple of classical composers um, that I draw heavily on in terms of composition. Um, John Sibelius, um, definitely uh, Johann Sebastian Bach, and um, you know probably a bit of Schoenberg in there just in terms of the way I think about note arrangement and, and, and set theory. Um, 
but you know in terms of pop and, and rock and roll i mean um nine inch nails is a big influence of mine uh, my dad got me started on them um, back when i was in high school and he gave me a copy of year zero which i, I know that's a lot of Nine Inch Nails fans will say, that's not Nine Inch Nails, that's just Trent. <laughs> but no, I, yeah, I get it, I get it. I like the whole catalog. It's not just Year Zero. Um, yeah, and, and uh, I don't know, classic rock, progressive rock, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, anything really involving a guitar, I, I'm down, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, it kind of kind of reminds me of, um, um, you know, Grammatic, um, Big oh, Gigantic, sure. uh, stuff like that, you know, they're, kind of mixing electronic music with um you know just live elements oh yeah and grizz yeah and grizz big too. time mm -hmm. that guy knows how to party <laughs> I, love, I love watching his live sets he's such a good entertainer yeah yeah and uh, you know uh that reminds me uh next month we're gonna uh, i'm gonna be featuring music by a group called uh, savoy and they're also a similar kind of deal um so i would say definitely check that out on 318 um but yeah so uh, what so you're gonna be playing uh, a little bit later uh like a uh dj set so uh what kind yeah. of what kind yeah, of music yeah. you're gonna be playing um so i'm gonna do something that i've coined the the great wind down um which is i've been so i used to play at a um <laughs> i'll show my age here i used to i started djing at a hookah bar um it was my first gig ever um, and they, they, they didn't have any other DJs on the bill. It was a brand new store. Um, so I DJed for about six hours every, um, Friday and Saturday night for, wow. for, I'm serious for about two and a half years. And I could, you know, I could handle it at that age, but, but, uh, so I got really good at starting at, um, you know, a, a high tempo and sort of bringing people down to a chill level, right. On, mm -hmm. In, in a little microcosm, you know, of, of a hookah bar. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I start at a very high tempo, probably around like 140. And my goal is over the course of my set to get us gradually down, 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 down to like 70, like down to the ambient chill out. So everybody can, you know, go to sleep easily. Wow. That's awesome. That's, uh, quite the way to build a set. Yeah. <laughs> Great wind down. You heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, definitely, um, I'd say uh, check it out on uh, check out Garden Sound on uh, YouTube and um, do you have uh, do you have SoundCloud? Yes, absolutely. But I am far more active on YouTube. Um, like I said, every single day I'm putting something up, and it's not just a song. Like I I put up a video that kind of shows how I made that song. So if you're an up and coming producer, um, if you're someone who's interested in writing music, I mean, my channel is the place for you to kind of learn the basics of 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 how to. You know, we we start from a very elementary level of, of what is a note, you know, and, and how do these notes get arranged? And we, we go all the way through how to mix down and completely, you know, master within Ableton, um, house and trap and all kinds of stuff. So definitely check it out. Yeah. And I also saw you did, um, kind of like a, uh, music critique or whatever, uh, with my buddy, uh, George Antonio's. <laughs> so every <laughs> once in a while we have this segment called coffee time. Um, and we didn't have one this week, but we, We'll, we're going to have one next week. And basically what we do is we do kind of a react video style, um, but a little bit more in depth than that. And we just sort of troll either um, uh, Reddit's listen to this or the YouTube trending page. And, you know, we pick off the top five popular tracks and just kind of react to them. And the deal is we can't skip. So once you start playing the track, you have to listen to the whole thing. So if the track really stinks, we have to listen <laughs> to the whole thing and you kind of see us suffering through it. And uh, you know we just we and the other the other rule is you have to say something positive about it. So even if the track is total crap, you have to you have to say, oh yeah, well you know it's got it's got a good rhythm or something. You have to find something to to like about it. Yeah, I totally recommend that. And um, I think uh, what was it yesterday? You did um, you did kind of a Eurobeat uh, running in the '90s type uh, song. Uh, you, you'd think it was yesterday by when I started it, but it was actually today. That was today's video. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I woke up this morning early and made a video. So it's you know I'm I'm playing tonight, but I made a video today. No matter what, I'll make one. I made a video when I got my wisdom teeth taken out. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, so I'm all drugged up on like you know all the uh, pain medicine and whatever, and I'm I'm sitting there trying to make a song, and my wife is kind of helping me through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely gonna check that one out then. Um, but yeah, do uh, you got anything else that you would like to uh, plug before we get into it? No, just uh, if you're listening, if you enjoy what I do here, um, there's far more where that came from for free on YouTube. Please 
hit that subscribe button and follow me. I, I intend to follow this project through to the very end and hopefully go from there. So hit me up if you want to talk. I'll collaborate with pretty much anybody. Awesome. Well, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Thanks so much for playing live. That was uh, really unique and incredible. Thanks so much. Absolutely. I'm going to get set up here to DJ, right? All right. Let's do it. <laughs> 